So you're in Exodus chapter number 32. And you guys probably already know where we're going, understand the story. Moses has received the law from God, and God's been telling him, like, hey, these people have quickly just turned aside. And Moses is like, I don't know if this is, you know, it's probably not quite that bad. I'm par paraphrasing, obviously. But the Lord's like, you better hurry up and get back down there. And Moses is like, I think everything is going to be all fine. He's walking down there with the tablets. And then he hears this noise, and, he, you know, Joshua's like, oh, is that war going on? And Moses is like, that's not the sound of of a war cry or anything like that. And then he realizes, Moses realizes what's going on. That these guys have fallen into idolatry. And he takes those commandments. He takes those tablets with the words of God on them. And he's so upset that he smashes them on the ground. Okay. But he's upset. And before he actually executes a punishment or anything, he asks a question. Okay. And the question is this. Now he does grind up <laughs> the calves and make them drink it, right? Uh, just a quick, uh, but that's just an appetizer, okay? This is a little appetizer. You know, he wants to make sure that their mineral content is, is good to go, that it's right, so that they can have a clear thought process for this question in verse 26. Exodus 32, look at verse 26. It says this. It says that Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. Now, what a question is that? Who is on the Lord's side? Obviously, not the only time that this is asked in the Bible. I mean, this question's asked to every man alive, every woman alive, every single day. Who is on the Lord's side? The Bible says that God has written his law on our hearts. So, you know, the atheist that you talk to out soul winning, you knock on his door, basically you're trying to give him the gospel. You're, essentially, this is what you're asking them. You're asking them who is on the Lord's side. If not, we would like to provide you with the information so that you could be on the Lord's side, right? And what do most people do? Eh, I'm good. Eh, I'm good. Okay. And really this, this, this wisdom here, I mean, it, it really goes into any organization, anything that you do where people need to make a choice, right? Even in the workplace, with our children, everything. And just listen to this here. If somebody refuses to take a stand outwardly in favor of a righteous cause, what does that say? It says that it basically shows whose side they are on, doesn't it? That's what it does. It shows whose side they're on. So think about this. Moses asks a very simple question after making them drink, you know, ground up, powdered golden calf. <laughs> okay? After he makes them drink that with a straw, what does he say? Who is on the Lord's side? Well, the Levites, what do they do? They make an outward expression, say, hey, right here, we are. We're on the Lord's side. We messed up, shouldn't have done that. Please forgive us, but we are on the Lord's side. What about all those other people? What does it say that they said? They didn't say anything, did they? No, they're over here like, well, what about that third coin? These are the type of people that are like, well, you got to understand, there's your truth, there's his truth, and then there's the truth. <laughs> okay? It doesn't always work like that. Okay? Because sometimes you are right, you're in truth, and the other person's wrong. Sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes you're both at fault to a certain degree. And the, you know, then that, that, that other third part there, that trichotomy, the, the, the truth stands out. But it's never just always that formula. It's never always like, oh, you know, this person's a little bit right, this person's a little bit right, and it'll wash out in the end. Okay? It's not always so black and white is what I'm trying to say here. This is crystal clear. What does Moses do after this? After these people just stand there. It doesn't say that they're like, oh, we hate the Lord. Right? They're just standing there like spinning the coin, spinning the truth. They can't make the right decision. And it's because they're not on the Lord's side. It's very simple to understand. Look at verse 27. And he said unto them, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, put every man his sword by his side and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp and slay every man his brother and every man his companion and every man his neighbor. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter number 5. What do you think about that? That would be pretty hard. I mean, these guys just got done partying together, right? <laughs> These guys are all dancing, having a good old time, shouting around. They got the golden calves. They got their earrings. They got all their jewelry on, right? They are partying it up. I mean, they have a little bit of a bond, but now all of a sudden it's decision time. And those who understood who they were in God and who they served, what decision did they make? 
They made the right one. And they went to Moses, right? The Levites, they darn well knew who they were. They're priests for crying out loud. They know what's right and they know what's wrong, even that early in their history. They knew that. They knew that that was wrong. Everyone there did. You see, but the people who didn't answer, they said, you know what? To themselves, we just want to have like everything our way, right? They're, they're, they're Burger King Baptists. <laughs> Burger King Baptist, you can have it your way. That's the church that most people are seeking today. The church where they don't go one way or the other. But when you get them in their houses, they got no problems telling you what side they're on. Right? But still, they're on the wrong side. Who cares if Will Smith's right or if Chris Rock's right or if what, whatever. God's right. We're on his side. The Oscars is satanic anyways. Okay? How about that? That's the truth that nobody wants to talk about. 